Whether you're trying to level up your art skills, start a YouTube channel, or launch an entire art career, planning is really important. It can make such a difference to break down a big goal into smaller, actionable steps, helping you both feel more in control and that impossible seeming dream seem way more doable. And that's where for most people, some kind of basic productivity system comes in, be it a to-do list or a bullet journal. But as your existing projects grow increasingly complicated or you start to add in new tasks to your plate, those basic systems just don't cut it anymore. And that's where you need a more complex all-in-one productivity tool Something that can grow with you, have almost endless pages, powerful filtering and grouping features, and be exactly as customizable as you need it to be to get stuff done. And that solution, that all-in-one productivity tool, at least for me and my journey so far, has been Notion. I've been using Notion since the inception of my channel two years ago. I featured it in dozens of videos and it's the backbone of my business. I would not be able to operate on a day-to-day -day basis without my workspace in Notion. So in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through my entire Notion workspace, showing you literally everything that I do in Notion, how I do it. And I am also incredibly proud to say that for the first time ever, Notion is sponsoring this video. So this is my workspace in Notion. This is my homepage where I have lots of like my work stuff and my personal stuff organized in kind of one big umbrella. As you can see, I have a lot of quick links over here. And this is all of the stuff that exists within the homepage. So it's kind of like a folder, I guess, like a lot of stuff in Notion is like nested together and you can infinitely nest pages instead of other pages almost. It's incredibly powerful. And then these two things right here are what are called databases in Notion. So databases are ways of organizing different kinds of information and you have lots of different views that you can choose from in Notion. And then this over here, this content calendar view, this is just a view. This isn't where the database actually lives. I'm just like filtering the information and putting it here on this page, but I can go to my actual content calendar, which is in my YouTube channel page down here on the sidebar. And I can see my whole content calendar. I can filter videos by status, but in my homepage view, so like my homepage dashboard, I guess, I have this information filtered and grouped by various criteria. So when I'm waking up in the morning, I don't wanna see all of my video ideas that I've ever had. I just wanna see the stuff that I'm working on right now. So I have a couple of videos coming up that are in the writing phase, maybe the filming phase, or I'm actually editing them in the pipeline. So my entire production pipeline, I can see here that I like am currently working on. As you can see, I can click this filter button to view the various rules that I've set for how I want to filter out the information and what information I wanna view and which ones I don't. And then I can also click these three dots over here and see lots of different options to filter, sort, and lay out all the information that I've collected. I know that seems really intimidating, but it's actually very simple. Um, and it's kind of crazy how simple it is because once you understand various basic features in Notion, a whole world opens up for you that's truly incredible. So this is my content calendar database just for the stuff that I'm currently working on or like have upcoming. But then down here, I have my master to-do list. So this is a board view. This is my master to-do list. I'm filtering things by unchecked. So when I check this, it'll disappear, basically. That's what you need to know. So I have all of my tasks as kind of pages in Notion. This is yet another database. This is just a view differently, but they look totally different. So this is a board view. I have all of the tasks organized by days of the week. This is a rolling thing, so if I forgot about Notion for a week and came back to it a week later, this would still show as all of these stuff being assigned to Monday and Tuesday, which is a disadvantage of this particular way that I have the system organized, but I like it for lots of other features. I can drag and drop items to various other days of the week if I want to, easily being able to rearrange things. That's an aspect that I really hated about my bullet journal when I still used one, that I couldn't easily change stuff, but Notion makes it super easy to do that. And then over here, I have tasks that are not assigned to any day of the week. That way I can easily drag and drop stuff, but I don't have to like clutter the original view if I don't want to. Notion is super powerful. It is definitely worth investing the time in figuring out how you can make it work best for you if that's something that you're interested in. It does take time to 
build a super robust system, but creators like myself and also Notion themselves have really amazing templates that you can choose from to kind of give you a head start in organizing your own system. Let's take a look at my quick links over here and the rest of my Notion workspace. So let's take a look at my content calendar. I'm sure a lot of you guys are pretty interested in that. This is my content calendar. These are YouTube videos sorted by status. So my content calendar, as we talked about, is another database in Notion. I have tons of things in here. I also like to sort my YouTube videos by content pillar. This helps me a lot when it comes to the brainstorming part of being a YouTuber. A lot of being a YouTuber is just like thinking of really good ideas and this is the space for me to do that. So I have a lot of content pillars for my channel and my upcoming vlog channel, like developing my art skills, art history, meta art content, like tutorials and that kind of thing art business, social media and marketing, behind the scenes. And of course, I also have like some shorter series like a 2022 moving vlog series where I set up my new apartment and do all of that stuff. So this really helps me brainstorm content when I'm in a pinch because I can be like, okay, like what are some videos that I wanna make that surround developing my art skills? Like what are goals that I have as an artist that I wanna work on that I can make videos about? And then I can brainstorm a ton of ideas. And as you can see, I have a lot of stuff that I really am excited to make. And that's what I love about this job, you know, being able to like do so many different cool things. I just think that's really exciting. So I also have a bunch of other views in here. <laughs> I have, different types of content. So I'm not just making YouTube videos. I also make stuff for Patreon. I'm working on some Skillshare classes, stuff like that. And I needed a way to organize all of that information. And so all of that lives within my content calendar. So I can sort information by what platform it's for, what content pillar it is, the status, and that gives me a lot of options. So this is my content calendar calendar. So this is July. I did not post the first week of July, and then I've kind of been sort of consistent so far this month, which has been nice, but let's take a look at this video. So this is called a page in Notion. Pages can be anything. Like I could have databases in here. As you can see, if you scroll down, I have another database. This is unique to this page. I'm not referencing or sorting this information anywhere else. It just lives in here, but this is the shot list for this entire video. So I have some brainstorming stuff over here and this is the script. So you saw me give this intro earlier. Having somewhat of a script helps me organize my thoughts and just save so much time when I'm filming. I also have a space for talking about the story arc in a video if I'm doing a more storytelling focused kind of piece of content. And then I also have a space to brainstorm keywords, title ideas, relevant links. Like a lot of times sponsors will require you to have a link in um, the top of your description in a video. And so that's a place for me to put that. And then if I want to add chapters to a video, I can write the timestamps down here. And then when I'm in the uploading process, like actually doing like the title writing and like description writing on YouTube, I can really easily reference all of this stuff. This is really cool actually. Notion lets you save templates. So let's say I wanted to make a brand new video and publish it today. I could go up to the top and click new and this little drop down icon and pick from a bunch of different templates that I've created or I can click anywhere on my content calendar, any of these days, add a brand new item or a page, and then pick from my templates also down here. So let's say that I wanted to do a detailed YouTube video. This would give me the exact same template you were seeing earlier, where I could have spaces for keyword brainstorming, title ideas, chapter timestamps, have a space for my script, and then also brainstorm shot lists. So. I can view the entire shot list by having this view turned on or I could go to the to do or I could go to the to do shots and go over here. And then in my shot list, I have a description for the shot, like what it's basically all about, whether it's the A roll or B roll or maybe it's a screen recording or a photo. And then I also have the angle. So is it a wide shot, a close up, a medium shot, a macro, overhead? I can organize all of that stuff. And for me, as a really visual person, I like to kind of edit the video in my head as I'm filming and as I'm writing the script for the video. So 
I want to have a really clear vision of exactly what the video is going to turn out to be. And often when I do that, when I have this much of a really concrete plan, the video will come out so much better. So I think that's really genuinely very important. But then also in my YouTube channel workspace, I have a very similar layout to my homepage. So I have important links over here and I have a ton of pages. So let's look at shot inspiration because I've already shown you my content calendar down here. So this is my shot inspiration library. I've collected stills from my favorite animated films, YouTube videos, and movies and TV shows all organized here by various criteria like the director, what movie it is, the type of shot, is it wide, close, macro, etc. What's the subject? Is it on a desk, a talking head, an object, or is it outside on location? Is it a portrait shot? Is like a general environmental shot in the lighting so that when i am in any given situation where i have to film a certain shot as you saw earlier i keep track of what shots i want to film a lot of the time now that's not a thing that i used to do in the beginning but as i want to level up my content keeping track of all of this stuff becomes increasingly more important to me so i have tons of properties that i can again sort from and group by if i want to then I also have thumbnail inspiration. It's kind of the same thing, but like for YouTube video thumbnails. So I like the kind of doodly aesthetic with the text and like the fun artsy vibe, but I've often found that doesn't convert well for me. So I kind of want to have both like my aesthetic portrayed in the image of the thumbnail and then do like some really basic text to get a higher click-through rate. And then I also have a strategy and ideation notion page. This is another database, but it's in a list form. So databases in notion are extremely powerful. It's kind of like the backbone of my entire workspace. Like it's notion, but then it's also databases in notion. I probably wouldn't use notion if they didn't have these insane like rich databases that you can do tons of stuff with so this is yet another database but for strategy and ideation for youtube and like my overall content this is a list i can make a brand new page in this list so for example i have my target audience written out in this like all of that stuff. I also have a place to brainstorm via top performing videos. So sometimes I will take like my nine or 10 top videos in any given period and brainstorm some new ideas from those videos. I think it really helps your growth if you try and double down on the stuff that works. <laughs> Aside from just my content though, I also have a lot of other aspects of my life organized in Notion. So let's take a look at my DIY art school. I offered this as a template a couple videos back. It's a free template. You can also join our community Discord server if you want access to the template if you don't already have it, but you can check out my DIY art school video if you want to as well. It's like a, it's like a, there's like a picture of me wearing the same shirt, I think, and it says self-taught on it if you want to go watch it. I'll link it above, but anyway. I am using New Masters Academy to teach myself art fundamentals and really level up my skills. And I wanted to keep track of it in a really nice, aesthetically pleasing way in Notion. So I broke down my entire like self-taught artist curriculum into modules. And then I have all of those sorted based on what course I wanna take. And down here, I have yet another database for my DIY art school like homework and my tasks and the videos so all of these courses have assignments and lectures to listen to and I wanted a way to collate all of that information and keep track of it did I say that is that how you say it collate call it no that doesn't sound right anyway I have a way to keep track of all that information over here and then I can click on the course and easily link back to that page so there are tons of tasks that I've already completed that I can see within here. And that's what's really cool about Notion as well. You can only just have a database in a page, but then you can reference that database in other pages too, which is just insane. There are so many levels to Notion. Thomas Frank is a great YouTuber. If you want to learn about the basics of Notion, I am not a Notion expert, but watching his stuff has made me realize the potential of Notion. So I will link him down below and mention him in the description because he's a great creator to kind of learn the basics and set up your own Notion workspace. But I have all of my curriculum organized into modules like that. And then I have some more important links. So I have a brainstorming session. I have other classes I wanna take. 
I have a page where I was reverse engineering my like desired art style, like where I want to get with my artwork. But yeah, this DIY art school page is pretty simple. You can click on any of these courses and see pretty simply what I have to do. And then if you go to the curriculum, you can see all of the courses that I want to take in like module one or let's see, let's eliminate that sorting or that filter. And then you can see all of the courses that I want to take, which is a lot of courses. And then I have them sorted by the module, the type. So are they on New Matches Academy? Are they on Skillshare? Is it a book? I have the status, the URL if that's relevant, and the category. So is it a drawing basics course? Is it a landscapes class, an art theory class? And I have all of that organized in, again, yet another database in Notion because I just, I just, I love Notion databases. They're truly incredible. So yeah, let's take a look at my business dashboard to wrap this up a little bit, and then maybe we'll look at my, my personal stuff. But this is my business dashboard. It's probably the part of my Notion workspace you've seen the most if you watch my channel, because I have tons of stuff in here, like my goals for revenue. I have my quarterly tasks and stuff and my revenue streams, of course. So as you can see, I have all of these income streams on the side their status, the revenue type, and how much money I've made from them in any given month. So you can see my revenue from December, from March, from May, and then I think June is not fully updated, but that's what I made in June. Um, not entirely updated though. But yeah, and then I can see the sum down here, multiply that by 12 and compare that to my eventual revenue goal. Very simple. I also have my yearly goals and tasks in here as well, so I can see, okay, like how am I doing in terms of my quarter three and quarter four goals and predictions and talk about all of that. I have a bunch of videos where I talk about my business dashboard, so I will link those in the description, maybe reference a playlist for you guys. But let's go back to my business dashboard because I also have some online shop stuff. In my online shop, I have a bunch of tasks over here. This is a very simple page, but then I also have some links to other pages up here. So artwork pricing, for example, I have a very consistent pricing philosophy. I price by square inch and then I round up or down to reach a more marketable rate essentially, but I have it based on cradled panels, flat panels, paper, and then we down here, I have another link for prints and sticker pricing. So I have the manufacturer, the price, and like the cost per individual item with different order quantities. So often these manufacturers give you discounts based on certain price models. And that is my business dashboard. I just have a ton of stuff organized in here. I feel like we barely scraped the surface, but I don't want to bore you guys to absolute death. So yeah, let's cap this off by talking about my personal page over here. This is yet again the same layout as my homepage and also my YouTube channel dashboard over here. I really like the system of small database with big link section and then super large database down here. So it's the same thing. This is my boyfriend and I's shared Notion page. It's very new. So you can see we have links to our favorite restaurants, our recipe book, our grocery list, hikes and walks we want to do. I keep my, my gift wish list in Notion for things like Christmas and birthdays and stuff, but Drake has his in a different thing and he has yet to link it, so I need to bug him about doing that. And then we also have a household tasks to-do list. This is a 